Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lance from Nerf This TV. Today we're having a look at this. This is the Lunar Display. I kickstarted this a good year ago. In fact, if I have a look on the Kickstarter site, it was August 2017 that I first saw this product and decided that it was something good. This is made by the same people that make the AstroPad software, um, which is a utility that you install on your Mac and you have the app on your iPad and you can use it for drawing. What it does is it takes up a piece of your screen, a, a section of your screen, which you can then put a drawing program into that section or it can take over the whole screen as well. It basically allows you to use your Apple Pencil with your iPad and uh, do drawing on your Mac. The promise behind this is basically almost lag-free technology that will allow you to use your iPad as a second screen. Let's get to the quick unboxing. The packaging itself is very basic, very sturdy, uh, very minimalistic, which is nice. It's got that whole Apple look about it. Uh, various details on the back, lunar display, barcode, and nothing much else. The device itself, as you can see, is very small, compact. I mean, it's going to protrude out of your laptop a little bit. Uh, let me put it next to some AirPods so that you can see. You see the size-wise, I mean it's it's a small dongle. It's not quite as small as something like a Logitech uh, dongle that you'd use for your your mouse on your PC or whatever the case is, but it's it's decently small. As you can see, when I did support this Kickstarter. It was $59 that I paid for this, which is, for this type of thing, not exactly cheap. So the first thing you do when we've uh, got our new lunar display is we go to, on your Mac, you go to lunar display, forward slash start, and you come down here and you download the Mac app. We then go to our iPad and we go to the App Store and we go and download the iPad app which you can see I've already downloaded. You'll see that as soon as we plug in the lunar display we get a little ping and it comes up with this window ready to... There are some settings that you'll see now once we've actually gone into Let's open the app on the, on the iPad and you'll see we now have a second display. You can now do basic settings. So which side of your laptop is it? It's on the left or the right. Um, you can have enable and disable retina resolution. I got it enabled as you can see. But these are not the only settings that you can do. You can now go into your settings and actually mess around with it as well. So we'll go to settings, display, and you'll see now on both displays, we can do the normal arranging where it is. And over here, you can see it's set to high DPI. We can set it all the way up to the full resolution of the iPad Pro screen, but things get very small then, so I wouldn't recommend it. This will test for now. I must admit this, uh, this curse is not showing very much, if any, lag on this display, which is quite good. Okay, so what I've done is I've opened up 
sketchbook and I basically just want to test the latency for drawing which is not bad I mean, that's not bad at all I am noticing that with the standard app I don't get any pressure sensitivity or tilt sensitivity Maybe I'm just being a noob. Let me try on different. No, I'm not getting any of that. I'm actually plugged in with USB and it's accepted it as USB. I can see that by sliding in from the left and you'll see on the top here, yeah, top left, it says USB. So let's disconnect the USB and it automatically switches to Wi-Fi. That was pretty seamless actually. And it's really just as good. In fact, I would go so far as to say that with the Wi-Fi and the dongle, it's probably a little bit better. Although I'm still not getting any pressure sensitivity here. But really that's not bad. I mean for Wi-Fi I can pick this up now and I'll still be working directly on my Mac. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the performance of the Luna display. It's uh, a lot quicker and a lot more viable to now use your iPad as a second display. For productivity, I tried watching a few YouTubes on the second display and a little bit of Netflix and they all work flawlessly. But if that's what you're gonna be using your iPad for, well then you might as well just open the Netflix app and watch it there or YouTube app, etc. So if it's gonna be used for productivity, it's awesome and it really is a well-performing device. I'm a little disappointed that there's no drawing functionality built in apart from the fact that you can use the Apple Pencil but that's it you can doodle you can sketch there's no pressure sensitivity there's no tilt sensitivity or any of that type of thing yet. I went and a look and browsed through some of the comments on the Kickstarter for the Luna display and a lot of people are asking when, why, and uh, will there eventually be support for people that want to use the second display for drawing, like their other apps, their Astro, Astro app, etc. And they haven't responded favorably anyway as yet. But let's hope that that type of functionality will be built into a device which essentially costs you $60, so it's not. It's not small change for, for having this functionality. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.